it's me, Xander, coming some later, and today we'll be doing Stellar Hydrogen versus Bellfire! Anyways, um, let's get started. First to five points, we're starting off with a little low with the armor tips on. So four more points, Belfar. You just gotta get a burst and, and, and uh, another burst. Actually, no. You need two more spin finishes and a burst. <laughs> Oopsies, I mean. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be taking off the attachments and putting them in low mode. And I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do high mode for this episode of Quadrate Battles because I hate high mode. She said. Hate it. I hate high mode. <laughs> It reminds me of Master D of Bolos. Uh, the only bait that I like in high mode is probably Magnet Ear for Thor. Because how they, how they showed how powerful it was in the show when she was battling the movie. I mean, all she really did was just random and all this stuff. I don't even put Magma in high mode anymore. I used to keep all my cute D bays in high mode if I first had them, but. Oh, no, it could be, I don't know, we'll do 
two more battles. See if I can keep can up there, because I have terrible memory. the second time I've seen Bellfire Burst. The first time I was battling it up against uh, Pandemonium and Pandemonium uh, burst it and he hit it off the stadium. As it burst, he hit it. It burst and the parts went off the stadium. But otherwise, yeah, Destiny of Bellfire is an okay base. Stellar Hyperion 2. Honestly, I feel like it's a better version of Comet Helios. And Comet can beat World Knight, but Stellar can beat Comet. I don't know, but it's pretty, they're, they're okay bays, honestly, but anyways, so all my Crimson Bladers.